everybody. Thank you for coming back in my kitchen. This is Stephanie. Um, again, thank you all. Please give me those thumbs up. Please subscribe. I'm going to say this before I get this video over with. And again, I really thank everybody. Mwah. That's what I say to you guys. All right. Today, I'm going to make some meatloaf muffins. And as you, if you've been following me a little bit, you know that I'm on um, Weight Watchers. And I made this recipe before, and each of these muffins about um, about three points. So I can have three of them and have nine points of meatloaf. So and they were really good. So I'm going to do this recipe again. Um, I have uh, let me show you what I have on my on my counter. I have some of this all-in-one seasoning, um, which is um, Spain spice, and I really think it's good. Their stuff is really good. Spain spice. I'll leave a link at the bottom, you know, for uh, Amazon for uh, if you want to buy this stuff. And I'll get the garlic one also. They're really good. And low in sodium. And then, of course, I have some garlic powder that's going in there. I have some thyme, ground thyme. That little of that's going in there. I have some onion powder. That's also going in there. I've got um, some mustard, which... Is going to go in the uh, the sauce. The mustard is in here. I have some ketchup, of course. Ketchup, of course, is going in. That's what we like. Um, I have some Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce, and this is low sodium. This is going in. I have some garlic, and this garlic is um, you know already done minced garlic. So I'm gonna take a couple of teaspoons of that. That's going in. I have some uh, onions. I chopped this. This is two onions that I chopped up in my uh, food processor. And so that's, I don't know, about a cup of onions. And this one here is about maybe a half a cup of peppers, also sweet peppers, that I put in uh, my food processor. So that's going in. And then this is some Parmesan cheese. Um, and I'm going to put some of this in there also. I've got two eggs right here, which I'm going to beat and just sit there until I'm ready. This is skim milk, because I do happen to have skim milk. I used regular milk the first time, because that's what I had in the house, but this is some skim milk. It's a cup of milk, um, it's called Slim or something, Slim Plus, whatever it is. But it's okay, I use it in my coffee. And I'm going to use some of this chili sauce, the sweet chili sauce, when I make my sauce that goes, you know, on top of this, these, um, these uh, meatloaf muffins. Mm -hmm. This is three slices of Wonder Bread, white bread. And I'm going to use Wonder Bread. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what I, I use. And then here's some mustard, dry mustard. That's going in with the seasoning in here. And I believe I have everything right now. So to get started, to get started, I have to take this bowl. I'm going to move this out the way. Oh, this is the starter show. I forgot. I got a pound of ground beef in here. And also, this is a pound of ground veal. And that's going in there. So I'm going to take that. It's going in. So that's, those are the meats I'm using. So it's about two pounds of meat. A little, maybe a little bit more. But it's about two pounds of meat that I'm going to use to make this recipe. Now, at the moment, I'm going to move this out of the way. Because I'm going to put this bowl right here. Just so that I can put this um, bread, and I took the bread and, you know, turned it up, um, cut it up, chopped it up, whatever. And here it is. It's in. It's in here. The second thing I'm going to do is pour some milk on it. That's what I'm going to This milk. And I'm going to let it sit until I'm ready for it, basically. So that's how it, that's what it's doing. I'm going to get a fork out here just to... Uh, to mush it down you know I want it mushy get it in here and stir it all up and there we go there we go that's all we really want to do you want to do this first just so that uh it'll be ready when you want to put it in in with the meat so you do that you let it set aside and that's all you do Next thing you want is the ground beef and the veal. Now you could put, use chicken, 
ground chicken. You could use all ground beef. You could use uh, pork with this. You can use it any kind of way you want. Okay, this is the way I'm going to do it because, you know, I, I do like it with the pork sometimes. But this is how I'm going to do it. But you use any kind of meat in combination the way you like. Okay, this is also about your fingers. You got to use your hands on this. So I'm going to use my hands on this. Um, let me see. First of all, I'm going to put everything in. So, need another spoon. I need a spoon so that I can at least get some garlic out. So I'm going to stick some garlic in here. Okay. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to put maybe two, two of these kind of teaspoons of garlic in here. Because we like garlic. So garlic will be in there. The next thing I'm going to do is put the garlic on the side. Next thing I'm going to do is put these peppers in. See, at least, you know, a Weight Watchers, at least we have uh, some vegetables in here, which is all good, you know. Then I'm going to put all these onions in there. Then, let's see, that's my veggies. And huh, here's my, here's my um, egg. I'm going to mix it up. Just beat it a little bit. Didn't necessarily have to be beat it, but you know, I beat it anyway. Uh, and I'm going to pour that in right now in my bowl right here. Okay. Now I'm going to put some seasonings in. I need some garlic powder. I'm going to give you the measurements. You know, I don't measure, but I'm going to tell you what approximately what I put in here. And I say I approximately put in about a tablespoon of garlic powder. And the same thing, about a tablespoon of onion powder. Which reminds me, I got to get more onion powder. I'm almost out. So I am out actually after this. So put some onion powder in here. I'm going to put some all-in-one spice in here. Another tablespoon. You know, I kind of know. I don't have to. I don't have to measure like that. Uh, then I got some thyme, and I always say thyme is good on um, on meat, so you should really use it. I use this. I probably didn't even have as much thyme on it as, as everything else. I'm going to use a little bit of ground mustard in here. This is like a. This says an eighth of a of a teaspoon. These are cute. I'll put the link down for this. So I needed a few other um, measuring spoons. So for mostly for my uh, for my own good. So this is a quarter, oh, an eighth of a teaspoon. So I'm gonna do two of these, two eighths of a teaspoon for some mustard. Then I'm going to put in some Worcestershire sauce. Well, this is gonna be a few tablespoons. Of Worcestershire sauce. Good stuff. Okay. The only thing that got salt in it is really this all all in one. This stuff. Everything else really I don't have any salt. So then I'm going to put in some ketchup and I'm going to put in I don't know. I, I'm going to say a quarter of a cup maybe. It's not really that much. Yeah, a few squirts of it, as I, as you can see, it's just a few squirts of it that I got in here. And I'm going to leave the mustard for later. So what I'm going to do for later is the mustard uh, and the ketchup and the chili sauce. Those will be on my, that's what I'm going to put on top of it. And of course, we coming back to this other star, and that is this uh, white bread with milk to bind it. So that's what's there. Now, I'm going to wash my hands again before I put my hands in here and mix this all up. Okay, be right back after I wash my hands. Goes my hands. That's what we do. So I put them in here and
All right, I'm gonna wash my hands again, and I'll be right back. Okay. You know, I forgot one thing. I forgot the best. I forgot to add some uh, some of this um, Parmesan cheese in, so I'm gonna add it in right now before it all before I get finished. And I'm saying I'm adding a quarter of a cup of this Parmesan cheese to the recipe. And then, I'm, of course, I'm going to get it in here. So that kind of really, really helps the whole thing. <laughs> so anyway, this is what happens when you really cook. It's a real situation. So I'm going to let you guys know. So it's in now, that's for sure. And once again... I will wash my hands and get back to you. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. And um, this time I want to just make my sauce before I actually put the uh, mixture into the muffin pans. So I'm going to start. I'm gonna, of course, mine is ketchup based. So again, I think I have about a uh, quarter of a cup. So you'd say all together I use maybe a half a cup of ketchup. So this ketchup is going in like that. Got enough ketchup. It is ketchup base, as I said. Next, I'm going to put some Worcestershire sauce. You know I got to buy some of this too. I'm, I'm getting low. <laughs> so I'm going to put mm, not even a quarter of a cup, a few tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce low sodium in here and I'm going to use some of this this stuff is really good the sweet chili sauce you know just use some chili sauce or on you know if you want but that's what I like and this this stuff is good so I'm gonna put maybe a quarter of a cup in here you now sometimes I don't measure especially sticky things because it's just too sticky so I eyeball it you know instead of actually putting it in a measuring cup but you guys can do that if you want but I just don't. And then there's some mustard. We're going to have mustard in here. You shake your mustard up. This is just yellow mustard. I'm going to put a tab or two in here. That's about it. Not a lot. Yeah, that might be a tablespoon. You know, that's about it. Now, here's my spurtle. And I'm going to mix it together. And here we go. That's all. Just want to mix it up. Um, you can see that what it looks like. That's all we want to do. We want to put it all over. Just brush it on the top. And that's all we want to do. So right now, I want to move them move this pot over. And now I'm going to move uh, the um, one of the muffin pans in here. And I have a scoop. I have an ice cream scoop, which I find is the best way to get them in these, in these uh, containers. So I think I can do 24. Last time I did 24. So I think it's probably going to be 24 again. So that's what we're going to do. You know, stick one. Let's see. I'm not going to try to get it over full. We'll see how they go. So I'll show you what it all looks like once I get them all in. But that's as simple as this. I'm putting them in with an ice cream scoop. And there we go. Be right back. So I got 24 uh, little muffins here and now I'm going to just put uh, a little of this sauce on on each one of them and I'll probably put a little bit more on it you know after it gets almost done so my oven is on it is hot today it's um, humid today and it's September but it's humid and so you know it is what it is so I'm gonna put a little on here and then I'm going to put it in the oven 350 for maybe um, 30 minutes and I'll let you really know how long it's going to take before it actually gets done these uh, muffin pans have been sprayed with um, 
what you call that, with, uh, you know, cooking spray, baking spray, so that it won't, um, so it release pretty well. So that's in there. Like I said, these are about three points per muffin if you're on the Weight Watchers green plan like I am. There you go. See, I just pressed it down really and it gets everywhere I want it to be. And then that's that. Okay, my oven is ready. It's doing 350. I'm going to pop them in the oven right now and I'm going to watch them, okay? Okay, guys, it's going in on the bottom. Got them in the bottom. Okay, they're in. I'll be back in about a half hour and check on them. So I'll see you guys later in about a half an hour and I'll check and I'm gonna finish putting the rest of the sauce on before it really comes out of the oven, okay? This is my dinner, so it's time to get it done. Be right back. See you later. Yeah, I want to put a little more sauce on. They're pretty good, but just a little more sauce, I think. Since I have made more sauce, put a little bit more on there. Why people don't turn their stove on? Of course, it is hot. Put it in for like five more minutes. And then it'll be done. Five minutes, then we'll be ready. Timer. They're out of the oven. And that is what my meatloaf, meatloaf muffins look like. Now, it is just about fall. Well, by the time you probably see this, it'll be like the first couple of days of fall. And I just had my oven on. And it smells marvelous in here. Um, if you have a, uh, I, if you have a uh, air fryer and you have those little muffin cups, I do believe you could probably put, put these in them in your air fryer also. Uh, and they will come out the same way because, you know, it's kind of still warm. You know, so if you don't want to turn your oven on, you can kind of make these 
in your air fryer, okay? Um, I'm going to take one out just to show you and have a picture for myself. It's another spurtle I have, a new spurtle. And this is a little thinner, so I can get it out, I think. I think I can get them out. You need to let them cool, but you know me. I don't let nothing cool because I like stuff hot. So I'm going to put like three on a plate. Just so you guys can see it, I'm not going to eat it yet because I got to finish the rest of my dinner and make sure that I'm eating what I'm supposed to eat. But there are three out of out of the uh, out of the uh, pan, and that's what they look like. Now that's enough for me, and then something else like some vegetables. But that is going to be enough for me and my in my dinner. But so I made this meatloaf muffin. These meatloafs each are three points on the green plan, and uh, I think they're marvelous. Okay, guys, I am done for today. Thank you, guys. I will be seeing you soon. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Mwah.